Let's see. I'm like, this way for this episode. Yo, I'm coming this way now. Oh, I didn't pause it. <laughs> it makes me giggle like a girl. Go ahead. We, I'm finished. To keep talking about what you're talking about. Uh, talking, talking about, about the league. league. I ain't know. Is it on? Is it on? Uh, Brothers of Sports Talk, Raw, episode 102, part two. We are here talking about the league. Y'all ain't never seen the league before. Y'all slipping. Y'all tripping. Nobody will get it to watch it. Swole Daddy watches it. And it's great. I got somebody to talk about. I've been trying to get everybody to watch it for years, that's yo. Sure like, I'm talking about for years. Like world, dude. <laughs> it's crazy. Once you get past like the first part of the that to learn what kind of humor it's gonna be and you learn the characters, mm. it's off the chain as funny as I don't know what it's the league. It's the oh, league. Okay. Speaking funny. of the league, Keith, I was showing them this is the first ever, uh, which is now the uh Raw Sports Talk League trophy. Nice. So, so since since Swole Daddy likes trophies, I, we go, I'm gonna get <laughs> another one of these for the for the first raw one. Um so what's up, Keith? What's up, man? What's going on? Hey, what's I was up, telling everybody, you? thank you for uh, for coming out for the 100th episode. That was fun. We had a blast. It was great times. Um, yes, sir. Y'all ready to get into it? Hey, yep. check us out on YouTube, podcast. Tommy's running the Facebook page. We're taking on all comers. Uh, we got a lot of people talking trash, but they ain't really, they ain't really about that life. We're talking NFL suspensions. Are they finally coming? QB news, Gronk retires. Pickums, fantasy talk, the man Vince McMahon, and then if, if we got time, I want Ryan to talk about tomorrow's UFC. All right, we ready? Yes, sir. All right, Sean Watson, <laughs> your boy Brandon, your boy Brandon, Deshaun Watson. Twenty-four cases, twenty of them settled. I think in the group chat you said that's, that's an admission of guilt. Why you think that? I mean, I mean, why is he settling if he didn't do anything? I mean, because he might want it to be over, right? Just to get it away from me. You think the you want to right, the 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 rape that girl? No. Get her butt. Up it. No. <laughs> but I bet you. But that, was, that, was, that, was, that went to criminal court, though. But what I I'm mean. saying is, I bet you they didn't find 13 semen of her underwear that, are, that was planted. He probably would have gave her some money to shut up, too, right? I'm not saying he didn't do it because I think smoke, there's fire. He was doing something. All this up the butt shut. We talk about it, Sean it, Watson, we start talking about up the butt again. Keith, what you think? It's it's not necessarily an admission of guilt when you have money like that and you can pay to make it go away and you're just trying to get going, then that's different than just say if that was me or you or something. If we didn't do it, we'd definitely be fighting to the end. But him, he's trying to move on with his career. So he's just like, let's just get this out of the way. And I'm trying to go. He, he, it sounds like that sounds like something you would say since your quarterback did that what? Not once, but twice for his <laughs> Go ahead, Swole yeah. Daddy. <laughs> What you think? Uh, I I think because it's in civil court, I think he can get away with just trying to pay him off now. You know, all I mean, before I of them, yeah. it, it, I'm with Keith. It's not necessarily an admission of guilt. It's more like let me have my season back and my fucking life back. Because he got all guaranteed money. So yeah, you know, for this time. reason. I mean, I kind of look at what it's costing him as it continues versus what it would cost him if he just what's it costing him? Stopped it. I mean, I, nobody's gonna know because then they ain't gonna come out what he's giving. I thought they said it would come out in the civil thing. It's costing it as, every day this continues as a case. He's is another day he's labeled. Mm-hmm. When this stops being a case, he's not going to be labeled anymore. Um, I agree with that. So that that's one of the reasons you're paying that bill. And we wouldn't we would fight that because we don't have the money to pay mm-hmm. that bill. Nor do we have to gain what he has to gain by paying. Um, do I think there? I mean, but there's three four cases and twenty of them just got settled for money. So quickly, I think all together. But the other four said so they're not settling. So they're, I mean, and those are the four that probably had to put their finger in his butt. They're the four that had the most <laughs> issue because the other 20 said the money's fine. These four did not. Um, mm. So, so I would say that this guy's a real issue and we probably shouldn't be seeing him play. Well, the no. women are getting all their bills paid. I'm grateful to get some bill today and my drink and my pineapple cup. So, my boy, Daniel Snyder, Jesus Lord. <laughs> They're stalling. My my question, we already know he's a scumbuck and a scumbag. We already know that. <laughs> but the real question is, how did all this matriculate from John Gruden's little situation to happen? If that all this uncovered all this, how much more is there to it? And 
Is that why the owners aren't forcing him out, Tommy? Is that why? Because some other owners might get I think this is stuff? a big – I think all this came out of a big CYA. When they when they leveled Gruden like, like they did for what he said, which I'm not saying was justified or unjustified, sure. just when they leveled him and then Gruden came back at them, like, look, man, there's all this going on and you can't just single me out of this. The NFL was like, oh, whoa, you're right. We need to do our due diligence. And now that we put ourselves – in the spotlight, that's a whole different set of repercussions. Um, they knew this was going on. <laughs> Everybody knew this was going on. This is this has been a Daniel Snyder issue for a long time. So uh, let's. I mean, we can we can put our blinders on neck like this wasn't what was been been happening the entire time, but this is all focused. So thanks for wasting another two minutes of my life. Didn't I say we already know how much of a scum bucket he is? Exactly. I said, I said how did all this reticulate from? John Green. And what, else, and what else is there, though? I think what Roger Goodell's Roger Goodell's involvement in there. So why you say that, Brandon? It'll come out. It'll come out eventually. What role would Roger Goodell have to play in it? Complicity. He, complicity. he was complicit. He's trying to cover it up for a little bit, trying to do whatever. Because they said some fouls, some fouls were charged a few years back, right? And mm-hmm. nothing was done about it. It's kind of like some some Penn State shit. People tell him, but they yeah. not really doing nothing going on. Yeah. You agree, Keith? See, I don't really – I don't even know what's going on with Daniel Snyder, to be honest with you. He's, it's he's been, about the workplace, this whole bunch of sexual – Bruce Allen. And all kinds of stuff. <laughs> yeah. It's like he's groping women. Everybody's groping women, and that was the norm. Like, that's what – He's been doing this since y'all was the Redskins, right? I'm, I'm sure saying. there's so much goes on that we and don't that's why we call it the skins, baby. <laughs> 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 it was basically some Vince McMahon shit. Everybody groping everybody doing some shit, <laughs> which we'll get to. Which we'll get to. So – do we think that he's going to be forced to sell? Eventually, it, like, because if he is forced to sell, that means the owners have nothing to worry about. But if they keep dragging it on, doesn't that make it kind of curious? Like, yeah, like why they're not? Yeah, because well, that might else? even be the huh? that might even be why they're doing it. <laughs> that might even be why they're doing it. Because it, some other stuff they might come out, right? Him out of here. Yeah, and Gruden <laughs> must know what's in there. Oh, so you think yeah. that they're doing this to get him out of there, Keith? Yeah, I mean. Dude, they could uh, they could un, uh, undercover uh, they could expose anybody for anything at any time they wanted to. But what if well if they want if, if if your point is valid, why haven't anybody st- stepped up and said yeah get them out? Ain't nobody saying nothing. Well, because they got dirt on them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, yeah, so see you you jumping back and forth there, fence jumper. All right, so look, Gronk just retired. Did he really retire? Well, did he really retire? Because RG three was going to jump in the river if he did. Saying he, if he came back, <laughs> what? I don't even know who you're no, talking about. RG three said that he's not retired and he'll jump in the river behind ESPN. And they said they're going to film that shit if he stays retired. Is he retired, Swole? You talking about RG three? I mean, I know he's retired. Stop trying to rub that in my face. I, I, I don't know who you're talking about, dude. Who's Gronk. Gronk. You don't know Gronk. Hold on, you don't Gronk know Kowski. basketball. You don't know baseball. Yeah, you don't know football. Football game, yeah. You said Gronk. Gronk, yeah. man. Yeah, he's done. He's done. I didn't man. say he's you done. drunk. I said Gronk. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, he's done, man. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> so he's, he's not done. coming back, Tommy. He's not he's, coming back. He's done. I don't he's think so either. Keith Brandon, he's not coming back. Uh, I really think hey, he's done. He's probably just said trying. Brady wasn't coming back either. What I said. Hey, but look, he's probably just trying to take time off so he won't have to play the rest of the year. They go to the playoffs. I mean, that's what he. Brett, uh, yo, Keith, you on it, baby? That's exactly what I think, dude. I, I mean, if, if Brady calls him, like I need you, he'll come. Ex- that's, I'm totally. With, I think that's exactly what it is. He's done. I think that's exactly what it is. He's done. I he's really do. Up. He's throwing him over the wire, dude. He's done. I mean, he might, he might be. He might be. I mean, he's, he's been banged up. So, so let's say he is done because we do talk a lot of fantasy football in here as well. We're going to put, st- go put you in the starter league this year. We're going to put you in the starter league this year. <laughs> um, what is Cameron Brake's value? Keith? Oh, I said Keith. <laughs> Cameron Brake's value. Do you know I who mean, he is, Keith? Yeah, I know who he is. But, uh, <laughs> Y'all make me nervous sometimes. Don't they have, don't Brandon they have and Tommy and Owens, I feel real comfortable talking Nah, he went Brandon to the Bills, life. man. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, Brate's value is way up there then. It's How high? Deal. Because you were on the show one time and you were talking about Dawson Knox being, like, hired and, like, some other – some big names you said. They've got him I mean, up there in that top 12 conversation, though, this year. Dawson Knox? 
Dalton. Dawson Knox. <laughs> Go ahead, Keith. Where's Bray at? Oh, is Bray, Bray top? Is Bray top seven? Top fifteen, maybe. Is he top seven? No, I don't think he's top seven. How? How is he top ten? Like I say, top fifteen. I think. Is he a starter in our league? Yes. In yeah. both leagues. In our league, yeah. yeah. Well, he's going tight end block anyway. He's a starter. 14. 14. Teamer. 14. So in a 12 team league, he's not a starter. Yeah, he's a starter. Somebody's tight end. He's block. a starter. He's I mean, if somebody's going to start him, but I, in my opinion, I think he's going to finish in the, well, the top 15. Okay. Well, you did just win the big league, so I can't argue. And I got last place. <laughs> so I, can't, I really can't talk shit to you right now, even though I got two last year, but still, you got one in the big league. So good job to you. So, Gronk, where is he right? Is he the best tight end ever, Brandon? Yeah. Ever. Yeah. You got yeah. him over t- t- Antonio Gates and Tony Gonzalez? Yeah. I mean, it helps. Is, it, is it the Super Bowl rings? Is it the four rings? I mean, it's, he holds, what, every Super Bowl record for a receiver pretty much? Playoff records and touchdowns scored all no, he that. Don't. Huh? So he's up there. Me. He is up there. Oh, well, Gates had a great quarterback, two of them. Yeah. Tony yeah. Gonzalez? Yeah, with Alex yeah, Smith yeah. out there putting up the yeah, best wide receiver. Who? Hold on, who was ever. the last name you He's just the best said? Best tight end wide receiver. Tony Gonzalez. Tony, Tony Gonzalez, Gonzalez, Gonzalez with Alex Smith throwing in the ball, putting up the best yeah. wide rec- best tight end wide receiver numbers. Tony ever. Gonzalez would be my. So wasn't he a big crybaby though? Nah, Tony he was Gonzalez a basketball. He's the he has first no rings. basketball player. I love they him. Have no rings. He's yeah, a number guy. He's a me guy. Gronk's number one. Whoa, you think he's the best tight end ever? I think it goes. Gonzalez, Gates, Gronk. You got Gates over Gronk? Yeah. I don't. Why? He just did more for a sorry ass team. You, you had Gronkowski getting the ball thrown to, to from Tom Brady. Antonio Gates yeah, had the Gates had Drew oh, no, Brees and Phillip Rivers. Two what are you talking about? Hold, hold, hold. Tom Brady's a better QB than Phillip Rivers could ever dream of. What wide receivers was there. Tom Brady throwing it to? Bum Rivers. Throwing it to Gronk. Gronk. That means. Listen to what you're saying. Randy Moss. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, Antonio Julian Gates Edelman, did more Wes Welker. for a sorry ass team. Even all these wet gym, gym rat Wes Welker wasn't whack. He went over to Denver. Got nah, nah. Like you know what I was going to say. Well, you know what I was going to say. When it's a white player, they're the gym rats. When they Spanish, they're the firecrackers. Remember that episode? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the league. Y'all got to watch the league. Anyway. Man. Anyway. I, I can't put Antonio Gates above him. I look back then. I, Okay. I love them Charger teams with LT. And we're going to get to LT. And then LT. We're going we to get to that. We're going to get to that. But is this Keats in the house? Well, actually, before we get to that, before we get to that. Um, Let's talk about Steeler Nation. That, since we were talking about Gronk. That's right. Oh, no, we're going to get to Steelers. But since we were talking about Gronk and his former team is pulling out the all red joints this year. So are you happy with the uniforms? You gonna, Yeah, hey, those are amazing, man. Hey, I, I, I love you? Hey, Swo, did I tell oh, you? I, I love that. I got it, baby. I got I it. Brain is, man, brain is throwing the fuck up right now. Look at that. Yeah. I love but those, those are the best. But here's my question. Here's my oh. question. Those those are a dope uniform set. Here's yeah. my question, though, bro. Here's my question. Who's running your offense? Matt, <laughs> Matt Patricia? You don't have an Matt offensive Jones. coordinator. You got Matt Patricia and Joe Judge, who got fired for doing nothing with the Lions and doing shit with the Giants. That's your offense. You think they're a new quarterback? Yeah, I know. Why are you sitting there with a straight face? Yeah, I know. Good because I'm at peace with it, dog. I'm, How I'm can happy. you I'm be happy. at peace with that? <laughs> I'm at peace with it. Whatever. But neither one of them coach offense. You're ha- what? You guys, what's going on in New England, Keith? What's going on in New England? Is Bill would do everything? I- it wouldn't be surprised if they were at the bottom of the barrel in that division this year. The Jets could beat them. The Jets yeah. could beat them. No, the Jets got game. The Jets great draft. I have no hope, dude. <laughs> no way. No, the Jets had a great ball. draft. Dude. I think we're going to see a whole bunch of last place teams creep up a little bit because I can't. I, I, I would not be surprised to see Jacksonville win their division. Anyway, Tommy, who's who's their offense? What's going on in the offense? In 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 New England. New England is supposed to be the smartest organization ever, which I'll argue with. Pittsburgh and too, but anyway. I mean, I, I honestly how do think you allow you drop players before they get to their prime, so you ain't gonna pay them. How do you allow your team with a brand new quarterback, second year quarterback, 
to not have an offensive coordinator to do to learn with. They did not always have Josh McDaniels. But they, had they did somebody. not always have Josh McDaniels. They had so, the boy that so was the formula that, State, that built that Tom next. Brady wasn't Josh McDaniels. It was it was Bill Belichick. Um, <laughs> okay. So and Belichick is still there. Uh, do I know what they're going to do on offense? I don't think anybody does. It's it's crazy, but I still have faith in the best coach I've ever seen coach football. And I think that there's no way they end up at the bottom of the division. I'm not arguing. I like the Patriots. Well, relax. Shit, Brandon, Belichick, you agree man. with that? Hating. Agree with what? That. We don't know what the hell the Patriots are going to do. Who's going to I mean, I think, look, Belichick's a defensive minded coach. That's what I thought. Um, when's the last time? I mean, defensive minded coaches, any of them win anymore? Man, Can this do be. drafts at all? No. I know Zimmer in Minnesota has a banging ass wife, but he sucked as oh, a yeah. coach. I just, think, I just think, you know, the game's passing him by, man, and he ain't got much left. Tom made him look a lot better than he was. Yeah, he's great. Now, you Brady never used to cry that. Better. You used to argue that. <laughs> Who's and Skilla and Seek is in the house for episode who? 102. Raw. What up, Skilla? Man. Look how happy you get. I love looking at you when you smile like that, Skilla. I love it, yo. You should be on a pitcher. A pitcher of beer that I'm about to drink, love. I ain't giving you no love. Anyway. <laughs> hey, anyway. So, look, all these wide receivers are getting money. Now, there's a couple of wide receivers that ain't getting money. And Keith, Pittsburgh's talking about they ain't going to give your boy his money. Dude, Deontay? Deontay Johnson, is it smart I'm not for worried him about not to it, give dude. the money or to give it to somebody else? I don't want him to give him the money, dude. I'm not a big Deontay Johnson fan. All right, I know we went through this before with you, but now I just like, did you see the interview with Mike Tomlin when he said he loves how his money spread out and he has, he thinks that team is going to be really good because the money spread see. out everywhere. And Tomlin also said, he, you know that ain't happening. Talk about Antonio Brown coming back. <laughs> this is why I think Chase Claypool is going to have a monster season. Y'all keep talking about those rookies. Go ahead, Swole. I'm glad you're shaking your head because you don't know shit about fantasy football. Damn it. <laughs> 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 I'm waiting for it like Tommy or Brandon to be like, yeah, and I'm like. I agree with you. I'm on your you board. Think Clay- I think Claypool is a I think Claypool got, got, a, he's got a better chance than Johnson. Yeah. Yep. You know, he's, he's got two. more years ahead of him. Two other receivers that haven't got paid either, DK and my boy McLaurin. So here's my question. Is there a chance? That either neither one of them gets it and they go to somebody else, or who do you see with their same team, Brandon? McLaurin's got to get it. He's better than he's. Yeah. On uh, week one, will both of them be playing for their teams or by some or somebody else? Yeah, I think yeah, all of them will be playing for their team for the whole season. So it's strictly money, and and why is the organization not giving it to him? I don't know why y'all ain't giving McLaurin. I mean, we got know. a whole lot of fucked up shit going on. Why yeah, I mean, maybe that's maybe player? maybe that's why. Uh, the other two, I can understand not paying, but. I think DK is waiting to see what Seattle's got. And I believe okay. as, soon as, yeah. as soon as he sees Locke play and he realized that Geno Smith is going to be my starting quarterback. Yeah, Geno might be in jail, dude. <laughs> what do you do? Geno you know, had like some drunk driving or some shit. Y'all yeah, got to pay attention. Play. Listen, if y'all going to be on relatives of sports. Well, I'm not paying attention to Geno Smith. If Drew Locke's starting Gino all the Smith. better, I'd love to see that. I thought Geno was going to be starting ahead of him. I think Baker's going to be starting there. It's just a DUI. We're going to get to that, too. We're going to get to mm. it. They're going to give Pino an opportunity. Who? They're going to give him an opportunity to see if he can stay in the league. Who? No, he's going to play week one because we need to play Zoss. That's the only – Seattle's got two primetime games. One's versus us week one. Drew Locke plays week one. And that ain't because of y'all. I mean, even because of them. Put money on it. <laughs> Is no, that because, because of them, That's dude? the only way they sell tickets. Uh, that's, that's the only way they sell tickets. Brown, look, the two Locke quarterbacks Locke. are at camp. Murray and your boy Lamar. We talked about this before, but I'm getting to the point where – could one of them or either one of them not get an extension, Tommy? I, I mean, I'm getting to the point where it's like, I mean, it's a month away from training camp. I don't think DK wants it. I said, no, nah, the quarterback. Chris, oh, let me go to Chris, Lamar Jackson, <laughs> or Kyler Murray. Uh-oh. Can either one of them not get an extension? I love Lamar Jackson. Obviously, he's going to get an extension. Is he? I mean, he's, I he think, controls I think his over- own extension. <laughs> He don't I mean, have an agent. He can walk in the room right then and say, I'm ready to sign. He's got, I mean, he's a quarterback. I mean, you talk about that. Y'all he's, drinking some good shit out producer. here. He's a producer, yo. He is a producer. Swole. Both of can, uh, can one of those not get an extension? Yeah, I think Lamar Jackson can walk away from the season without an extension. And I think, who was it, Brandon or Keith was What's saying? I think it was Brandon that was saying something like that. Like, they might not want him. <laughs> 
I don't think they sold on him. I mean, look at his production. He's been mediocre, kind of. Went down every single year. He's been a little mediocre. We're talking to Brandon Swell. He's done nothing the last three years. (laughs) Nothing, man. Keith, you agree? Is it Lamar that might not get an extension or both? Or is it Kyler? Kyler I think they're both going to get it. What's taking so long then? Kyler's waiting on them. Lamar's waiting on Jim, I don't fucking know. Russell, uh, well, he, it's going to come to the point where he's going to realize. He he can't hear him, like a, we can't a hear Keith. Skilla, you still talking? He like a quarterback. He's still talking. I feel so, like we so, back at O'Neal's again. God damn. I think that uh, I think somebody's going to uh, whisper some uh, words in his ear. And be like, Look, you better take that, dude. And he'll end up taking it. Russell's also due for an extension. Yeah, we, Russell oh, Wilson you, is also okay. A Tommy, team. you want to pay him his extension? We got we just, we, just money. Two, we just gave up two first round draft picks. The money is coming to Russell, and it's going to come right before, right around you know what, July, Tommy, the end of July. Tommy, you know what's funny? That's you when you're going to see the other two. What you say? Put you money flip flop more than white people after Russell Wilson. Beach. Beach. You know what I'm saying? Extension with Denver. You understand what I'm saying? I, you flip flop more than white boys at the beach. Nah, it will not yes, be till nah, Russell Wilson signs you know that show. extension Listen, with them. You've been on here so many times bragging about, oh, the future's bright for us. Because we Russell still pay him next year's. Million. We still pay him oh, next year's money. It's oh. an extension. We pay him next year's money, and he's going to sign about three years, fifty million dollars. Are you comfortable? And you're going with that? to see Kyler Murray and Lamar ask for fifty. Million Are you comfortable dollars. with that? You think Russell's I've got to be. The, the new QB market is 50 million. Bust. You think in the three years, Russell Wilson's is only going to want 50 million, million when they want 50 million now? Russell's the new QB bust. market, too, is about to get I don't know what 40. you're smoking, dude, but That's they all want to be the top. Derek Carr wanted to be the top dollar. You don't think Russell he, Wilson's going to want it? He's going to get 50, just like Pat. In three years, he, should, he might get 60. No, he's getting 50 this year. But we pay him this year's money. And then next year, we're paying him next year's money because that's what he's under contract for. But then the following years after that, we're paying him $50 million. And that's how he, and that's how Lamar and Kyler are going to get paid. They are going to get hey, paid off that number. All right. Since Swole Day got a head to the left, Keith, <laughs> week he's one. Old head. I know there's he's tons of leader. primetime games. That's the There's tons leader. of primetime games. But here's my question. The most intriguing game to me is the Browns versus the Panthers because I don't know who either team's going to start at quarterback. Who's was the quarterback matchup for week one, Browns, Panthers, Keith? Browns? Man, I don't even know who's their backup. Brissett, uh, Jacoby Brissett. Right, so, so it's going to be Jacoby Brissett versus Matt Corral. Week oh. one? Oh, yep. shit. You agree, Swell? No, I think it's uh, I think it's going to be Sam Darnold versus uh, Deshaun Watson. So <laughs> Watson's not going to get suspended at all? No, oh, they, 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 don't, they, don't they don't want Chris. That. What you think, Chris? Of course, he gets suspended, man. He gets suspended. Come no, on, bro. yo, we were talking about him only getting suspended. I was to the point we might not get like three or he four. Might now, I'm just saying, I don't think he's playing all year. Might be, it, eight, it, be eight games, it might what be indefinite. What if the cases aren't he's settled? Playing and the whole year, wants to wait for information. Hold on, hold on, Tommy. Say it again, Tommy. What if what if the cases aren't settled and this NFL is waiting on information? Cleveland goes out and plays this guy week Dude, one. Dude, Cle- does Cleveland play Cleveland him? plays him, and then we find out he does get suspended. What is Cleveland compared to Houston? Right, that's what I was going to say. The Texans didn't play him. But then again, Cleveland paid him guaranteed fucking money, so of course they don't pay him. And said they investigated him. <laughs> so, Brandon, who's the, what's the quarterback matchup week one? Brissett and Darnold, two trash quarterbacks. So, Baker's not going to be the quarterback for either team. No, team. I don't think so. I don't think so. Where what happened? Where's he gonna go? He's gonna be Seattle, I believe. Oh. Well, if Seattle wanted him, they could have got him a long time ago, right? Yeah. It's Seattle. All right. <laughs> so is the is the is the Colin Kaepernick hype over? Is it over, Tommy? I hope so. Jesus. Well, I was never on it. No, but I'm saying they hyped it up. He was going to camp. Teams he won. hyped it up. I mean, this is the last year. That was what it was. That was his farewell tour. This was the last year. I thought that the last year was like a few tour. years ago. <laughs> and that dude wanted to play football. He'd have played a long time ago. In the, in the CFL. Colin Kaepernick could play for the Houston Texans right now. I'm just no, saying. he could over not. Over David nah, Mills? Mills is a Mills. Nah. He could not. Sure. I don't think he could play over Geno Smith. Mills might oh, start in our fantasy league by the end of the year. Hold Mark on. Mark I got, hold on. Hold on. I got two things I want to talk about with this one. Keith. Yeah. Could Kyle Kaepernick start over David Mills? 
No. David. All right, here's the second one. Here's the second one. Tommy just said that David Mills could be a fantasy starter. Could At the end ever, of the year. Could you the ever the fathom year. starting him? <laughs> the bye week and, and it'd be, he'd be one of our four you would start the Houston flavor. Texas Chris would you start David Mills ever in fantasy injury streamer no be injury ever. streamer worthy by the end of the year Hell no ever no it was injury streamer worthy like last year what are y'all talking about <laughs> my week starter how crazy my week week starter. slept on who? week 13 on who David Mills was injury streamer worthy last year did you have him no, I didn't need him. And you didn't win shit, and you still didn't have him. third. I mean, I knew I wasn't going to have him because I won two rings. You ain't win shit, you didn't have him. <laughs> Did you have him, Chris? Because you ain't win either. I don't think anybody had him. Bro. All right, then. No, nah, they slept David on David Mills, a streamer. I don't want to hear that shit. David Mills. Anyway, Jimmy G, will he be a week one starter, Tommy? For any team, will he be a week one starter? Jimmy Probably G. not. Isn't that sad? Same I just ordered that. They ported that. No, no. Nah. I think. Brandon, you agree? Yeah, I don't think he will. I don't know if he'll even be healthy enough to start anyway. They said he's yeah. gonna be healthy soon. They just had a report that he's gonna be healthy real soon. So, well, what, what do you think? Will Jimmy yeah. G start? I don't think so. No. 49ers <laughs> have to release him, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, absolutely. Chris, if, he's not for that if he gets released, nobody's gonna start him week one. They're not gonna release him. They have to release him. They're going to trade him for a third rounder. For the they got to get something for it. Thing, he's definitely getting released. That, like, or traded. He's not yeah, picking his good. destination. He's because, getting traded. Because if he yeah. picks his destination, he, he might pick traded. Seattle, and they he don't want that if shit. If he gets traded, if he gets traded, it depends who they trade on, what team he go to, man. I, who would take He's not a bad quarterback. Cleveland needs a quarterback but, this year. Mm-hmm. Who does, New England? Cleveland. Cleveland. All these Great idea. idea. Don't, Great idea. We don't need that. We don't flip, need that. Flip Baker, back. flip Baker and Trey Lance for uh and, and bring Jimmy over to play, play one year with Cleveland squad. And what's and Trey the, Lance going? Trey Lance is going. Trey, Trey Lance is going to compete with Baker for this year's starting starting job and saying Baker ain't going nowhere. They've already given him a job, man. Yeah, well, they're they're too much look, Trey Lance. Look, speaking start, of Baker but, and Cleveland and all that, what happened to their old wide receiver Odell? I know he's not healthy yet, but ain't nobody picking him up. They think he might not be ready. Keith, what would be a good team week four for him to join? Um, Beckham? I got to see. Let's see. Uh, I thought you were going to say you're Super Bowl lovers. Either one of them. Dallas, is true. I can see him going to Dallas or Buffalo, one of them. <laughs> I, 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 I threw him the alley you. <laughs> you agree, Brandon? I'd say the Rams. So he's going to go to a, a full Rams roster? I mean, why not? I mean, him and Stafford got a little – the Rams, Packers, a buck. What about Baltimore? Oh, he can, he needs somebody to I get like it. everything y'all say at Rams, Bucks, Baltimore. But I see Baltimore, 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 Baltimore the week four would be crazy. Change the whole game up on them. Okay. He'd be All right, so look, amazing. what second-year QB has the best chance to win their division? Is it – are you ready, Chris? Is it Fields with Chicago? Mills – Tommy's boy Mills with Houston? Uh, Wilson for the Jets? Um, Trevor Lawrence with the Jaguars? Trey Lance or Mac Jones? <laughs> with no offensive coordinator. Right, Who is um, it? What's second year quarterback, Chris? That's a – man, that's a lot of people. Any of them. Damn, any of them, for real. Any of them, you're right. I, I think any of them. Who you think, Spo? <laughs> you better not say Mac Jones. I don't see any of them. Uh, you say, better not do Tommy and say Mac Jones. I was going to say Trevor Lawrence, actually. With the Jaguars. That's what yeah. I said. Yeah, that'd be the I only mean, one better than that. Trevor Lawrence got in the Doug back. Peterson. Doug Peterson's in town. That could change things for Trevor. I think the coach with the most ability to improve his team is Doug yeah, Peterson. some shit. All right, Keith, what do you think, Keith? <laughs> Trey Lance. Billy Philly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Philly, Philly. Brandon, who you think? Crazy. I think the best chance would be Trevor Lawrence. I don't think it's going to happen, but they'll be a lot better. So, Tommy, your boy in Tennessee, Ron Tannehill, is just going to get beat up by the Jaguars? Thought he was so elite, so special. In the second coming to Josh Allen, what happened? Josh Allen lights. Okay, Josh Allen, like he's Dollar General <laughs> version of Josh Allen. Now that, right. That's you right. mentioned. Right. Dollar Store version. Right. You got Cheerios, you Lucky O's. You close enough, it tastes the same. Right, Dino Bites. That's without A.J. Brown. 
I, I mean, y'all, uh, y'all, y'all sleeping Trayvon on the Burks has got me worried, though. Sleeping on Look, the cold. The most pressure, Dak, Dak Prescott or Patrick Mahomes. They both got inner division issues going on. Who's under the most pressure to win this year, Brandon? Mahomes' whole division, everybody in their division, the quarterbacks. To win this year? Line. To win this year? Dallas? I mean, uh, Dak. You think it's Dak? Because why? Because he's never won. Because he's never won. You agree, Keith? I think it's Patrick Mahomes. Why is that? Tyreek Hill. Because he ain't got Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill's getting death threats and shit by by, (laughs) by people. Shows the classless scum they have a What do you think, Swole? Who? I I think it's Dak, man. He just hasn't. He hasn't shown anybody anything, and you know, I mean, Jerry Jones is a very impatient bastard. He isn't. He's gonna let that motherfucker is go. Is he? Let Tony <laughs> Romo stay there and be mediocre forever. Go Tony ahead, Chris. Was never mediocre. Oh, he hands wasn't. down, hands down, Dak. Man, that's right. You think he's... mediocre motherfuckers should be in the Hall of Fame? Go ahead, Chris. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think Dak really got something to prove, man. He ain't he ain't been doing shit since the first run, ten game run when he first got in the league. Would They're you take him, would you take you for the Giants? No. Hell no. No. Jack had a bad quarterback. Dallas is going to light it this year. Right now, Tommy, who you think? Mahomes or Dak? Yeah. I'm taking I'm mean, Mahomes. Mahomes has got he's I think he's the most talented quarterback I I've seen. Actually, I said more pressure. I mean, Mahomes has got more pressure. He's the most talented yeah, quarterback yeah. I've seen since Marino. And so why does he have the pressure? They why? took away Tyreek Hill. It's exposed exactly. now. And then what else? The division, right? Yep. Uh, all right, real division, quick, we're going rapid fire. Yeah, we're, we're pretty decent. Rapid fire, all right. Comeback wide receiver for fantasy. If you had to pick one, Robbie Anderson or Claypool, Keith. Claypool. Uh, all right, y'all just say it real Claypool. fast. Go ahead. Who? Claypool. Claypool. Everybody with Claypool? Yeah. All right, bet. The next one, Galladay for the Giants or Devontae Parker for the Patriots? Parker. Galladay. Oh, no, you said Parker. Ooh. Parker. Uh, yeah. Neither one of them. Two Parkers. Neither one of them is gonna play a full season or half a season. So. And for fantasy, if you have to have one in your lineup, who you take? I'm going Gall- Galladay. If Galladay. I gotta have one. Yeah, Galladay. Chris, you yeah, take Galladay. 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 So everybody's yeah. saying Galladay, but Tommy. Yeah. Parker. I, I Tommy. like Parker. I mean, I like him. But you like Devontae Parker with Mac Jones and no offense. Well, I mean, he's he a possession machine. He's 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 a he catches ten balls a game when he does catch. All right, new what, team, what Jarvis Landry with the Saints or Woods with Tennessee? Juice. Landry. Yeah, Jarvis. Jarvis. All day. I, I, I think Landry. Landry. Yeah. That's, a, that's a no-brainer. He reminds it, me of Dan Campbell. Tannehill sucks, that's why. Because yeah. Tannehill sucks, Tommy. Tannehill's that's crazy. why. You saw what Robert Woods did Derek to Stafford. Tannehill. Anyway, Allen Robinson or Hollywood Brown? Hollywood. Hollywood. Is it because D Hop's gonna be out for six games? That, that the and, and the chemistry he's already got, but it's quarter. The chemistry. I'm going Allen. I'm going Allen Robinson. I'm going Allen Robinson. Right. Yeah, we all two yeah, guys. Like Only Allen Chris. Robinson. I'll take that big body. Uh, I said Robinson. Hollywood Brown. I like Hollywood Brown as a player. <clears throat> Is it because what? he's just he a baller? Catch. He's just a baller. He's a gamer. He can't catch. He can catch, and he nah, man, it Chris, who'd you pick? Hmm? Who'd you pick, Chris? Just one of those. Who was it, Robinson? Somebody's TV is loud as shit. Yeah, I know, right? Dad, it's just watching baseball game. And it's it's not mine. It ain't they mine. So look, if you had to pick any combo to have, you taking Jalen Hurts and AJ, um, Trey Lance and Debo, Tua and Hill, Josh Allen and Diggs, or Lamar and Bateman? Ooh, Allen and Diggs. Bro. Allen and Diggs. Everybody Allen taking Allen and Diggs. AJ Brown and Hurts. AJ Brown and Hurts. Know, Remember, this is fantasy for points. Fantasy, fantasy. AJ Brown and Hurts. My bad. They're going to try to score fifty a game. Dude, somebody's TV, man. All right, so y'all two are taking Allen. Chris, who you taking? Chris watching TV and shit. That's why it's all loud and shit. Yeah. Nemo, yeah. you got a loud TV on. <laughs> Tommy, who'd you pick? I'm taking Allen and Diggs, bro. What I about mean, Lamar and Bateman? That's your boy. Allen and that that squad up in Buffalo is going to try to score for fifty. I, I might be with you, Swole Daddy. I might even go with Hurts and AJ. I think, they'll use, I think they'll use AJ like Debo. And the way Hurts no runs. And don't let them get Kareem Hunt like they're talking about. Oh, my Lord. Oh, I'm scared of Philadelphia. Oh, God. If they get Hurts, Keith and Tommy, because y'all have Dallas in the Super Bowl and then win the division. Hold on. The why are they going to get rid of Hurts? 
because he's gonna be a free agent after next year. Who's gonna Jeez, pay all these? I'll take right he'll right get a Kareem. Tommy and Keith have AJ Brown. Still be with the Cowboys. Uh, if he went to Philly, Philly and it was Hunt goes next Philly. year. Yeah, because I Jalen got Hurts played like he did last year. This year, the John Allen can run just as good. Because if he did, no, I'm still taking it out. What you say, Keith? I said all right. First, I said uh, I, I got more faith in Dak than I do Jalen Hurts. All right, real quick, real quick. Um, we talk about players with no rings. Who is your top two players with no ring ever in NFL history? Ooh. Oh, that's Barry and Marino. Marino would be Marino. one, right? Is Marino anybody, and better, Barry, is anybody and better than Marino without a ring? Barry Sanders. Did, did Bruce Barry Sanders would be two, right? What about Bruce yeah. Smith? I mean, he ain't got one, but is he there? Is Bruce he top two? No. Uh, Brandon got it right, right. I think Bruce Brandon got it right there. Danian Tomlinson. Is, uh, is Tomlinson better than Zuda? Uh, in the top five conversation. You got Moss. You got Jim Kelly. You got Tony Gonzalez. Mm. Moss, Moss, Moss might be three. Yeah. Moss Tiki might be Barber, third. Uh, yeah, Randy Moss. I beat Tiki Barber and Bearball. He definitely in the ring. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> but, yeah, Brandon, I think I think Brandon got it. Yeah. You got Moss Marino three? Probably so, I mean. Jim Kelly. Tim Tebow. Oh, hey, he was there enough times. He should have oh, won. Hey, Tim got a playoff window against Keith's boys. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so real quick, Vince McMahon, real quick. He just stepped down as CEO or whatever. He's still doing creative. He had to pay $3 million for his whatever. Who is the person? Somebody tell me. Some paralegal woman who just all of a sudden wants to come out and say something. So she was just somebody who worked in the desk? Yeah. Did y'all hear the storyline with that? Oh, yeah. Uh, well. Yo, this dude was doing shit with her, having an affair and all this stuff. And then he just dumped her off to John Lord. He just gave like he just gave him to her like hey, you know, grand uh, a year. if the homie can't have nothing. I mean, what is going why on she, out here? Why is she saying something now though? I don't know. I, I don't understand the whole story. Everything's so hush hush. I don't understand what's going on. A billion different things. Something, something. I was scared at first that it was a woman. I mean a man. Ben <laughs> yeah, Patterson, God rest his soul. I know he's a wrestling <laughs> fan. We've heard some stories about Pat. But yeah, Pat right? Patterson. Pat Patterson, Deshaun Watson would have loved him giving a massage. Realism <laughs> 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 uh, Raw episode 102, part two is about to conclude. Freestyle, baby. Anybody got anything to say? Hey, Brian, hey. I just want to tell you, Josh you're, you're Allen, best had a choice, guys. Yeah. Let's go, Yankees. No, 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 Right there. I'm like, oh, that, why don't you put it on, man? Because I was laying here almost falling asleep a while ago. Before, uh, <laughs> man, there, I got it's too close. 